Hello, fifth graders, week four at home PE. I am in my bedroom, as you can tell. And we got warm ups going on. So, today with warm ups, you need a space to move your body, hands around your body, up, down, side to side. You need a water bottle. You will also need a blanket or a towel or a, well, look what I'm using, a yoga mat. So, we're still gonna be able to get our arms and legs loose and warm up. Then, we're gonna go to the ground and do our crunches and our push ups. Remember, all of these things you will be doing when we get back to school. If that means we're in the gym, in the classroom, or outside, we're doing all of these activities. So make sure you got your stuff and you're ready. So one more time, water bottle, towel or yoga mat or blanket, or if you're at home, use your carpet because that will feel better on your arms. And we'll go from there. So make sure you have all that stuff. This is our warm up. We have our workout after this. And then we have our health video. And this week our health video is about our digestive system. So most of you guys are watching this after you just ate your lunch. So how does that work? Where does the food go after it goes in your mouth? We're going to learn all about that. But right now, get your stuff. I will see you in a second. All right, we're back. So make sure you got your space. You ready to go? Arm circles going forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, shake those arms out, other way, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Move them out a little bit, now we're gonna do our back slaps. Remember with our back slaps, we're going, one, two, really throw those arms back there, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Shake them out a little bit. Now we're going to go move them across our body. So right arm goes across our body right now and we hold it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shake them out. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shake them out. Now we're going to do one arm behind our head. And we hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it down. Make sure you're feeling good. Other one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shake them out a little bit. Now we're gonna work on our neck and our shoulders. So take your head and go forward down your chin to your chest, then back. So you're kind of waving at me, you're nodding at me with your neck. We're going to do that five times. Slow. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Now we're going to look side to side. So we turn our head one way, then we turn our head the other way. Back and forth, slowly. We're going to do that about five times. One, two, three, four, five, five times. Now we'll do our shoulder shrugs. So we bring them up and down, nice and slow, five times. One, two, three, four, Five. Now we're taking our shoulders and roll them forward. Roll our shoulders forward five times. One, two. And we're going big back and we're rolling forward. Three, four, five. Now backwards. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Arms feeling good. Let's get those legs going with our high knees. Remember, two choices. You can go slow with them. Or you can go fast with your choice. And go for about 20 seconds on your own. Ready, set, remember, on your toes. Not up high, not on your heels, on your toes. Go. Remember, nice and slow to start with if you want. If that's feeling good, and then you can start going up. Five alligators. Four, three, two, one, shake them out. Now, little jumps, 30 little jumps. Remember you're on your toes, 
Nice, soft jumps, never heels on the ground, always on your toes. 30 of them on your own. Ready, set, go. All right, feeling good. Let's get those calf raises in. Remember we go up, down slowly, but notice how my feet are never going down and rocking backwards. We're just going up, slow, slow, slow. We've got about another 12 seconds of these. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, and last one. Up. Down, shake them out. Take your feet, put them together, try to touch the ground. Ten, all right, spread them out. Go to one side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Stand up, stretch them out, shake them out a little bit. Other side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, take them out, spread them out, touch the ground with both hands. Two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stand up, shake them out, bend your knees, elbows in, push out, hands on the ground right here, and let's count to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, now since we're on the ground, we're gonna move right to our mat. So if you don't have your mat yet or your towel, make sure you go grab that, grab a quick drink, I'll see you down on the ground in just a second. All right, fifth grade, I'm on my mat. Remember, these are workouts you did if you were here in third grade, fourth grade, and now we're doing them in fifth grade. These are going to be our ab workouts and some push-ups at the end, some planks as well. Remember, if you need your water, stop and grab some. I've got mine as well. I'm going to leave it right there. So we're on our backs. We're going to start with our crunches. Remember, knees bent, feet on the ground, just like that, nice and easy. We go up till our belly gets tight. Belly tight down, belly tight down. We're gonna do 20 of them on your own. Ready, set. Remember, on your own, you do them yourself. Go. I got my 20 in, it feels good. If your belly hurts, congratulations, you are doing it right. Now we're doing our sit-ups. Remember with sit-ups, don't lay your arms on the ground because it helps push you up. Arms can be here, 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 but not here because you always want the need to push yourself up. We are gonna do, uh, let's do 12. Ready, set, go. On your own if you want, or with me, I don't care. Go, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Great job. Excellent. You want some water? Get some. If you don't, don't. Now, we we'll do our straight leg holds. Remember with this, if you want to make it easier, get your hands under your pockets to keep your legs straight. If you want to make it harder, put your hands on your chest or your belly. Your choice. We're going to do straight leg holds for about 15 seconds. All right? So get your legs out. Make it easier. Put your hands right here. Lay back. Head, shoulders off the ground. Two inches, go. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Next, we're doing our flutter kicks, just like that. 15 seconds in three, two, one, go. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now we're doing our scissors, over, under, over, under, all right? 15 seconds in three, two, one, go. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Get some water if you need some. Side planks now. So you're gonna be on your side, forearm, arms out, push yourself up and you hold just like that. We're gonna start in about five, seven seconds or so. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Hand, push up and hold. 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. If your side hurts, perfect. You're doing it right. <laughs> That's what I like about all this. If your sides hurt, you're doing it right. Ready, in three, two, one, push up and hold. 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, down. Excellent. Planks. And with planks, you hold on your two forearms right there. You push yourself up, kind of like in a push-up position, a modified push-up position. But we are not having the booty high. Remember, if the booty is high, that ain't fly. So keep your back straight. Everything's straight. We go in three, two, one. Push up. There you go. And hold. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness, friends. It's rock and roll today. You guys are doing excellent. Oh. And now we go to our fun one. We go to our push-ups. Now with our push-ups, you have the choice to have your knees on the ground or knees off the ground. It depends on who you are as a person. If you are good at push-ups, get those knees off the ground. Really work on that. If you're not the greatest at push-ups, it doesn't matter. Put those knees on the ground and work on it. Remember, when we do push-ups, we want to have our hips belly, chest, and face all going down at the same time. We don't want to have something stuck up like the belly or the booty high in the air and it doesn't look good. So we got to have everything go at the same exact time. You guys got that? All right. Push-ups. This is our last workout, warm-up right now. This is our warm-up. We haven't gotten to our workout today. This is a warm-up. All right. Warm-ups. We're going to do 13 push-ups. You can do knees off, knees down, on your own. Go at your own speed. 13. Whenever you're ready, go ahead and go. Oh, my friends. Excellent job today. Now, what is next? Next, you're gonna close this video, grab a drink of water, and right below it, it'll say fifth graders week four workout. What do you need for it? In black writing right underneath, it'll tell you exactly what you need. You're gonna need space, obviously, and probably a little equipment, but I'll let you know. So, great job. Get some water, catch your breath. You did it. Video's right there. You guys are awesome. See you guys later.